Hey y'all, it's your girl Rosie here, and while I sit in the car alone waiting on Tom, I thought, what better than to do something I haven't done in weeks and weeks and weeks and weeks? Catch up with our girl Amber Lynn Reed, our girl, our moving queen. So basically, I am not caught up on our Amberverse. I have no idea what's going on. I do know she moved. I know she's doing stuff with her mom. I caught part of Justine while kicking Geese's live stream from a few days ago. And I think that was an, a, on a video that Amber put out maybe four or five days ago. Today is Saturday, August 21st, August, oh my God, October 21st. So um, this video looks like it came out yesterday. It is called, Things are hitting me and I'm still hurting putting together furniture or something like that. Sorry, I'm looking for Tom. So, without having any other knowledge of what's going on, let's watch this video and I'll give you all my thoughts. Hello, hello, welcome to a new vlog. So yesterday was the first day that I did not film at all. I have been just like on the go, on the go. I have been filming, filming, editing, editing just doing a lot and I needed one day where I didn't do any of those things. So yesterday I kind of just chilled at home, kept to myself and it felt really good, not gonna lie. I needed just like a energy booster, like let's charge my battery, call it a day. So we are back to vlogging today. So hello, hello. I actually just got done filming a TikTok. So you guys definitely should go look at my TikToks. I have been really enjoying my time on there. I've noticed like- I just want to say this, I don't have a TikTok. But all of this stuff about Amber doing these like sad cringe, um, I'm still in love with my ex, like crazy TikToks has me wanting a TikTok just so I can react to these things and like talk about it because I hear it's like really crazy. <laughs> now that she's like, go watch me on TikTok. I'm like, girl, I might just make a TikTok and go watch you. I think yesterday is when it really started hitting me that like I'm alone. I live by myself I have lost the person that I thought I was gonna spend forever with I know a lot of people are like oh my god you guys broke up like literally in July Why are you still hung up on this because all that time that we were living together? Things were very confusing There were chunks of time where it felt like we were still in a relationship and now it's like literally she's gone and I'm I don't know I just it comes in waves where I'm just like whoa, this is like real like she's not coming back. She's not just like on vacation. And it's just, it's a time in my life, you know, first time actually living alone at 32 years old. It's just like, I have a lot of different types of feelings. Overall though, I am okay. I am doing really good. It's just little moments like that where it's just like, dang, okay, this is like real life. And, and I start to feel things just a little bit more than I normally would, which is normal in a situation like this. And I feel like I'm actually handling this whole thing so much better than I ever would have imagined. Okay. I just have to say this whole, I lost the one that I thought I was going to be with for my entire life makes it sounds like wipey is dead. First of all, not that they broke up like six freaking months ago and were like sex friends for the last however long. Y'all, wipey, Feline, Winifred, whoever, whatever, Folder, whatever they call her, Jade, is so probably relieved to be done with Amber to have left her to be taken care of by her mommy like she is probably just whoo I'm so glad this is over let me change my phone number let me change all my socials I don't want Amber to find me again like she did way more than she should have living with Amber this whole time after the breakup moving her to Oklahoma wherever the freak she is Yes, that girl has, first of all, she's questionable for ever being with Amber in the first place, but she put in a lot more effort and stuff than anyone else probably would have. Because after we broke up, I'd have been like, bye girl, <laughs> not live with her forever and move her to another state. No, thank you. But I really don't like how Amber's trying to spin this. Like, didn't you date some other girl and say, oh, I'm in love with this other girl, but I'm still sleeping with wife? Like, you did the most. Y'all, I swear to you, I just had a whole moment that I'm never going to forget because it was with my neighbor. So I'm walking in with Twinkie. I have my AirPod in. Everything's fine. Next thing I know, 
my neighbor's walking in the hallway too. So Twinkie gets all excited and does her excited thing. But she got loose. She literally came out of her like little harness situation, which she has never done before. I don't know how it happened. So she's like barking and trying to like play with the neighbor. And I'm like trying to get Twinkie because the neighbor's just like, oh my God, is she going to bite me? I understand that being someone's first spot when a little chihuahua is like barking and like running. I get it. But Twinkie doesn't bite. Twinkie doesn't attack. She just likes to bark. So I went to bend down to get Twinkie, but my AirPod fell out. But somehow, some way, when my AirPod fell out, it landed under my door. I could not get it out. So instead of the door, I guess, on the bottom just being flat, I guess it's, it's like hollow. So my AirPod was just stuck and I was trying to yank it and yank it and pull it. Oh my God, it was like 20 minutes of that. And my whole AirPod is now scratched up. Oh my God, these are the AirPod Pros. Actually, Celine got them for me. They're still working, thank God, but it was like a whole moment. Like just ev everything that happened all within like 20 seconds just gave me a lot of like, Okay, today's gonna be a weird day, but let's keep our fingers crossed that it's not. Y'all, can we just like discuss <laughs> this fake story that just happened? Um, one, dogs don't just come out of their harness. You've put the harness on wrong. I have four dogs and when I go in public, they all wear harnesses. Never once, not never. And I've had one of them for 13 years. Have they come out of a harness? what so that's stupid two the airpod under the door how did that take 20 minutes to dig out and you're just digging an airpod out while your dog twinkie star is assaulting your neighbor who is clearly uncomfortable with dogs none of these things make sense one two hundred percent a fake story because where was the story going and three what was the point? She could have come up with way better stories than that, right? <sighs> okay, let's get back to it. Here now for what? 12 days and I still have not hooked up my TV. My TV has not been on in a hot minute. I don't really watch much TV, I gotta admit. So it has not been a high priority for me. Okay you guys, so my friend actually sent me a housewarming gift. It's a wooden floor lamp and I have to put this together. I am pretty excited because I've never put anything together besides like an expert Lego. So yeah, there's a user. What kind of friends does she have? Like I don't have one single friend that would send me a floor lamp. Not one. Not one. So Y'all got friends that sent you a floor lamp? Somebody tell me if your friend has sent you a floor lamp for you to put together. And then I love that like casual, oh, the only thing I've ever put together is an expert Lego. Ma'am, you're 32 years old. You haven't even put together one piece of jank ass Ikea furniture. Really? You don't even have a little mallet to put pegs in with? Like right now, this looks so confusing. I don't even know. Like right now, this looks so confusing. I don't even know. Okay, so here's the manual. Oh my gosh. Wow, okay. Um. Oh, it doesn't come with a bulb. Okay, that's fine. Step one is connect the three metal cylinders. These, they are. So connect them together. Oh, these guys. Wait, what? Based on how these were gonna connect together until I realized there's some like little doodads in here. So I guess I put this on here like so, wait, <laughs> hell yeah. And then the last part, <gasps> I did it, I made a circle. Cause now they want me to put this guy with these guys in a circle, oh boy. <laughs> and something about screws, which I guess are these, but there's like different ones. I don't think I've ever screwed something into something before, so. I don't think I've ever screwed something into something before, so. Ma'am, what do you know about screwing something into something? Mm-hmm. <laughs> also, I just can't get over this. Why is she trying to act all like cutesy and brand new about putting together a freaking lamp? I just, y'all. I don't know about y'all. Amberlynn's kind of over for me. Like, she doesn't do anything. And like, the stuff that she finds necessary to film, or I guess can scrounge together to film, is so 
monotonous and she doesn't even make it fun like he 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 i'm so quirky i've never put anything together watch me put together this lamp oh i did it yay like what is anyone entertained <laughs> maybe what it is is it's funny that it like this is what she has going on at 32 years old or this is what she thinks is interesting that's comical but like the content itself is it's something let's document this moment so i found this little tiny screw which i'm assuming is gonna go in here oh my god what way does this go i'm like so confused y'all i'm currently screwing a screw but i can't tell if i have this on upside down or not so um, okay, so I most definitely did not screw this on correctly, so one of them is on wrong. I'm thinking it's this guy right here. Look, now I have two circles. We are getting somewhere. Yes, we are. Next step, ma'am, what did you just say to me? Okay, stand up the lampshade, right? <laughs> is this the lampshade? Wait, but does that, does this part go in or out? Wait, I think this guy goes like this. Oh, wait, I think I'm figuring it out. I have to put these guys inside of these little like moments that are on the side of here okay okay is this a two people job this entire video is her putting this lamp together and acting surprised that if you follow the directions it actually goes together what oh my god uh, wait uh oh oh my god Stay put. Oh my God, we are making progress. <laughs> Am I building a lamp right now? Oh my God, I'm building a lamp. I'm a handy woman right now. Call me up if you need your lamps built. Oh my God, this looks like a hamster wheel. <laughs> oh my God, genuinely so fun. You guys, look, I did that. I did that. Okay, oh now, screws? I could do that all day long. Okay, so this guy goes into this guy the little hole for the screw and then you screw her oh get her really tight go all right so we have one two and three so the next step oh god this looks so confusing connect the three assembled lamp what's a lamp head see i thought a lamp head was that circular thing that i made but it's showing a picture of this Okay, so I think I take one of these and shove it in here. Is that what I do? I mean, that's what it looks like to me. That screw doesn't make sense. It doesn't... Three screw. I'm so confused. Oh no. Oh shit. I'm really, really confused right now. Oh, so we need nuts and... And then we turn this guy. Oh wait, okay. I think I got it. I did it! I did that. That was me. Remove the plastic ring from the screw base. Huh? What's a screw base? And what is a plastic ring? What? What? I don't understand. And then put the plastic ring back on. No shit. All right. Oh my God, wait. Did I just build a lamp? <gasps> I'm obsessed with it. Oh my God. So the person who sent me this, you are watching and I just want to say thank you so much. I love you so much and I appreciate it. This is the first housewarming gift I've ever gotten in my whole entire life. I wish you could have been here to see all the parts where I really messed up and I just had to edit that out so you guys didn't see it. To the person who sent her this that's definitely watching this right now, you know who you are. I would hope that if they bought her a lamp, to put together and they didn't just do it for the comical value of Amber Lynn Reed putting together a lamp that they know who they are and that they sent her the like what what guys this is adorable I'm actually gonna be putting it in my bedroom because it matches my bookshelf perfectly okay guys so I have been obsessed with TikTok lately it's just been so fun for me and as you guys know I make up my own lingo I say weird things I say quotable things that people say. So I figured I would 
take the two, TikTok, and then funny things that I've said in the past. And I would combine both. So here are some TikToks I've recently done. And then also I show the original clip of where it's from. And if you guys enjoy this, I will definitely make more because there's been tons of crazy things that I have said. So let me know if you guys enjoy these. You don't have OCD. You have OBCD. Okay, thank you. I didn't know my psychiatrist was on here. Thank you. I guess I didn't need to get a TikTok because she put her own TikToks in the video because I guess she didn't have enough content to fill her time slot. But, uh, did she just poorly lip sync to her own audio? You don't have OCD. You have OBCD. Okay, thank you. I didn't know my psychiatrist was on here. Thank you. Uh, books is good for the brain. Uh, books is good for the brain. Really yeah, it looks like a big cherry. <laughs> <laughs> big, big. Uh, Are you calling me big? No, I'll talk about me. Yeah, it looks like <laughs> a big cherry. <laughs> big, big. Uh, Are you calling me big? No, I'll talk about me. When I see her eat something that's bad for her, it breaks my heart because she doesn't understand nutrition like I do, and I don't. When I see her eat something that's bad for her, it breaks my heart because she doesn't understand nutrition like I do, and I don't. I do have some thoughts on those clips. I guess at least Amber has a sense of humor about herself. Um, maybe. <laughs> Some of those clips are uh, very memorable. And <laughs> the big one is my favorite. Because sometimes if you call, call Amber big in a reaction video, people are like, big, big, did you just call me big? I love it. I love it. Okay, I guess final thoughts would be that was a boring video. Uh, I guess Amber literally has nothing to do except watch old clips of herself and make TikTok videos about herself. And this whole Feline thing is just dragging out so long. I have been over it since they broke up in July. Actually, you know what? I've been over Feline, Wipey, Jade, Folder, whoever, whatever we want to call her, since they got together. So, Amber just needs to catch up, y'all. Um, other than that, I've enjoyed doing this video with you guys. I know it's a little different than what I normally put together because you can't see my face for um, the reaction during the clips. But it is what it is. I'm doing my best with what I got here in the car. And um, I do have several videos coming to you guys about my most recent trip to Antigua. And I'm also going to be doing a video about what it's like being pregnant post-gastric bypass surgery. As well as an update on what's going on with me. And I can finally share my news that I've been dying to share with you guys for like months so I can't decide if I'm gonna do like a separate video about that or if I'm just gonna put it in one of my next videos also I'm thinking of doing a couple of retro reacts to uh Alexandra Rodriguez learning to be fearless um just kind of like comparing some of her videos post gastric bypass with mine and just talk about like some of the differences or things I've noticed that are different for me from her because she did have a very public post-op journey and I think that would be really interesting, at least for myself. Um, I know with the pregnancy, things have been a little slower than I would like them to be. I've lost about 104, 105 pounds. I'm sitting, I'm sitting pretty at 173. I would like to be further down. I had gastric bypass February 23rd or 24th of this year, 2023. So I would like to be down more than 104 pounds, but being five months and something pregnant, being 20 weeks pregnant, I'll take what I can get that I'm still uh, maintaining and not gaining. <laughs> so yeah, I'll see you guys in the next one. Bye.